Pat Robertson gave us a classic Pat Robertson moment on his show, The 700 Club, talking about addiction. Let's listen. Do not give up. You know, it's amazing. We've mentioned this before. God gave you and me as human beings authority. He gave us dominion over everything on this earth, over all the animals, all the snakes, all the birds, all the plants, all the vegetables. Cocaine is a product of a vegetable. Alcohol is a product of a vegetable. Marijuana is a vegetable. And yet people are enslaved to vegetables. And you were made in the image of God. God made you in his image to reign and rule with him. He gave you incredible authority. Why would you become a slave to a vegetable? Why? Why would you do it? You say, well, you don't understand. Yeah, I understand. I've seen a lot of stuff going over the years that I've lived. A lot of people have a lot of problems. But I'll tell you one thing. God Almighty can deliver you from the bondage of your addiction, your slavery to vegetables. He can set you free. <laughs> I had some carrots in my salad, and I, I started shaking later from withdrawals from the carrots. Give me a carrot, God damn it! I'm a slave to the vegetables! I'm a slave to the vegetables! <laughs> Oh, it's too much fun. It's too much fun. Look, here's the serious angle to the story. Addiction is a medical issue. It's not a religious issue. And, in fact, in uh, modern times, like within the past year or so, I've become more and more angered at the fact that religious people get involved in this medical issue because I think they do a lot more damage than they do good. Even if they mean well and like, hey, let's try to get you off the drugs and we'll do it this way. Yeah, but your so-called cures, your so-called solutions are not solutions. Take Alcoholics Anonymous, for example, or any of the anonymous things. If you look at the statistical success rate, it's abysmal. It's like a 2% success rate or something insanely low like that. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're one of the people who actually succeeded on it, by all means, go right ahead. I'm not judging you. Whatever works for you. But what I am concerned about is the other 98% of people. I don't view this as purely a moral failing on their part. As, you know, just will yourself through it. Well, some people really can't because of the chemical makeup of their brain. And it's a terrible thing. It's a horrible thing. But this is why it is a medical issue and it's not a religious issue. When you hijack the issue and you only have a 2% success rate, you're fucking over the other 98%. Hand this over to the doctors where it belongs. So just to give one example, there's this uh, thing that people take for uh, alcoholism where it's a pill where if you end up drinking alcohol, you violently throw up. You get incredibly sick. And that actually stops people from drinking. It works. So that's what you should be directing people to, not to Jesus. Jesus doesn't work across the board. That does work. It has a much higher uh, success rate statistically. You know, for addiction to uh, opiates or opioids, they have, uh, whether it's methadone or there's this thing called Suboxone, which is similar, it's a pill that you take it and it works on the same receptors of your brain that the opiates do, but it doesn't give you the high. But what it does is it blocks the uh, the receptors so you don't even want to have any more opiates because the receptors are taken care of, but you're not high. Okay, that's what we call a cure. These are things that you should be pushing, uh, you know, if you're trying to fight addiction. But Pat has to take the issue to the absurd where he's bringing up vegetables and slavery to vegetables and how Jesus is the answer. No, Jesus is not the answer, and that's absolutely dangerous. And you should leave this to the experts, which, of course, you're not going to do.